Yo. Hey, welcome to the new meta episode 160. 160. Insane. I stole your I stole your thing. I did the 160. Yeah, that's 160. Uh, 160. Who knew? How you doing, man? Who how's knew? the how's how's life as a uh as a survivor? Disabled person? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know how to. Uh, yeah, you know, I've, I've become a runner, which has been interesting. A uh, runner? Yes. I'm what like are you running from? Shredding weight, and I don't really want to be, but um, uh, yeah, just running. I'm, I'm running, running and biking a lot because yeah. I can't. Yeah. I can't lift, which sucks because like I actually enjoy lifting. Yeah. Um, so I'm doing things that I hate. I historically really hate running. <laughs> um but yeah, I'm not, we're doing it you know, cool i'm happy for you thanks awesome. i'm not you gotta you gotta you gotta get in shape to meet the new mrs fluff to then you know what i've been surprised and, by is that i kind of expected like this whole thing to oh well then you know that 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 whole ramping like the dating scene is gonna slow down and mm -hmm. uh, like because like no one wants to date someone wears a hat all the time or like covers their head or you know, could potentially not have some hair grow back on their head. <laughs> uh, but it hasn't at all. It's been pretty, like, I, I thought girls were more superficial than that. And they're just not. Or at least the girls that I've been talking to, so. Yeah. I mean, if they're desperate enough, I guess. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Or cool. my that's brilliant good... personality, just, you know. Yeah, I'm sure that's shining through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, you, yeah. Which is wild because, know, like, if they broke a finger now, I'd stop dating them, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> Did you tell them that? Have you been like, listen, I'm just telling you, if the roles are reversed, you know, is we're done, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. if you go bald, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm piecing the fluff out. <laughs> That's funny, man. No, I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy that maybe you've met some some nice ladies. Yeah. Uh, or mm -hmm. plural. One, two, three, four, I'm five. A, I'm a, just P. How dare how dare you okay. <laughs> assume okay. it would be more than one? Okay, good. Just one. Yep. Confirmed. Uh, so yeah. That's good. Yeah. You yeah. wanna you, you wanna talk about video game stuff? Nope. Okay. What do we talk about? Um how was your love life? We're talking no, about the challenge. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we could talk we could do a whole thing about the challenge. An after we show, we, we could do a challenge podcast. Oh, you know, well, there's a lot of them now. I think Bananas yeah. just started one. So. And, and and movies too. We could do a movie podcast. Oh I, my I, god! Yeah. we would literally yeah. never agree on a single movie. So no, that's the that's the point though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Don't you want two <laughs> contrasting opinions? True. So the good one, like mine, and then the I hate everything. <laughs> the I like yeah. any movie that like has a script. No, that's not out. true. That's not <laughs> no. That's definitely not true because I watched that that garbage ass reminiscence movie mm. a couple weekends ago how did you Man, get was, through it i i i don't i just i was like i committed so much now i can't leave like i have to see it through you know mm. so i gave it like i would say at the 30 minute mark i was like this is not going to get good this is this is it this is the peak and then i just kind of i was like well i'm gonna stick it out i guess yeah and i and i've turned over a new leaf i think in that department like usually if i start a bad movie i'm like well i'm 30 minutes in like power through like maybe this will like yeah. end up being okay but like the past like couple of weeks i'm like no like fuck you i hate you for taking 30 minutes of my life give it back yeah give it back yeah i think if it would have been different scenario i probably would have but i'm a i'm a huge jackman fan man i like most of the things that he's in uh, and maybe it's a soft spot for for Wolverine. I don't know, but you know, if he's in yeah. a movie, I'm usually like, oh, cool, let's check it out, man. Sure. I usually like his stuff, but I just kept thinking it was going to get better, and it it just didn't. So mm -hmm. you know, but I'm sure there's somebody out there that liked it. If you liked Reminiscence, you just leave a comment Hands below and try to try to explain how you know why <laughs> why like, tell explain me, tell me how what happened during your lifetime you that made your judgment so poor. <laughs> But I saw another movie. I'm gonna save it for later, though. Okay. I, I definitely have one I want one to hit on. Um, but yeah, let's let's talk about uh, the poll from last week. We we did this this little poll thing. Yeah, new medic podcast question of last week, which there's actually a day left on because we are a day early this time yeah. around. Yeah, wrong keyboard. We should we should be next Wednesday also next week. So yeah, yeah. 
So if you guys want to sneak in a last vote, you better podcast question of the week. Should Ethereal stay in Diablo 3? Um, and the results have come in. 67% of the vote says, heck yeah, super fun. 32% of the vote says, no way, too OP. Man, oh man. I'm a little surprised by this vote. I am too, because I, I disagree with the results. So <laughs> I yeah. do agree that they're super fun. I, I that I just don't think they can stay for power creep, you right. know. And we talked about it last week a little bit, but yeah. But at what point in Diablo Three's history, like to to the point of these sixty seven percent people, like do we just like s literally stop giving a shit about any kind of balance and it's just like should be like a super fun log in and get loot boxes kind of game that we just don't care about anymore? <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know. It's like if we're gonna if we're gonna throw balance completely out of the window. And we're gonna throw difficulty completely out of the window, because with these these ethereals are the, are would be like if they stayed in the game, then that's this power creep is permanent, and then next season's power creep would be permanent, and the next season's power creep would be permanent, and then sooner or later it's like one fifties are gonna feel like greater rift, you know, thirteens, mm -hmm. and so it's like or gr sixteens or whatever. So I don't know, man. You, you have to remove it. You have to take it out. And I think that's why it's fun is because it's powerful. If you leave it in, it just becomes not fun anymore. So take it out. And then when it gets recycled in six, eight seasons, what, however long, you know, two years down the road, they're like, yo, this is the ethereal season. And you get, then you're excited again. You're like, yo, we got that. That's dope, dude. It was fun. Remember two years ago, how fun it was. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think, I think they should wrote when they go to, to hopefully we get more seasons like this. Mm. So that when they go to this this maintenance life cycle pulse, that they can kick out some of the shitty seasons. Like they don't have to rotate those in, like goblins and bounties. Like those those were starter seasons to like let's see if this thing works. So like goblins and bounties shouldn't ever be seasons. They should be like weekend events or right. mid season events or something like that. Um, circles on the ground was was a nice trial, mm. but ultimately I don't think that should be in the rotation. Hopefully yeah. either that or kill streaks. I don't think those are very fun. Yeah. So, so the only two um, like fourth cube and fourth cube could be one for sure. Uh, Royal ring, I guess could be one. Eh, but you can do fourth um, cube like that. It's way better than work season. Yeah. But I'm just saying like they need to rotate if they're going to rotate, if they can get two or three more good seasons Yeah, and they could have ethereals fourth cube, and then the two other ones. I mean, that's a whole year's rotation. Theoretically, we, we don't really anticipate these seasonal themes stopping until D4, I would assume. Yeah. So, like, that's I would probably assume. another year plus of. Yeah. Seasons. So they got at least four more, I would yeah. think. At least four more. At least five, probably. So, yeah. So they could have two years worth of rotation yeah. on there. And if so. they've been, you know, going down this path, it could be good, could be juicy. Yeah. Maybe. I, I, like I said, I like what they're. This is this is the best one, so hopefully they got to top it now. You know, bar set a little higher. Oh damn! So, so let's go, Frankie. You know, let's go, let's go, <laughs> boys. Do it up. Uh, yeah. And so, new meta question of next week is uh, like a little bit of topic we discussed last week. Uh, if Blizzard released a Diablo Two Rected Plus mode with new content, balancing, and even more QOL. What's your level of hype? Choice one, oh my god, poggers. Choice two, don't touch my game, D2. Choice three, Matt is still too old for me. Okay, there you go. Add some hashtags to this real quick. Don't touch my game. I mean, there's gonna be people are gonna <laughs> right? vote for that. I Watch know, I'm you know, we'll see. We'll see. Let's see what they go with. Chat. So you can go vote. Boom. Boom. Speaking of D2. No, speaking of D3, yeah. the real quick topic. Because okay. this, uh, you know, you know, we're on episode 160. This is kind right? of, yep. um, okay. it's topical for us. Because, okay. you know, this guy posted on the Diablo 3 forums of, has anyone else met someone in, from Diablo 3? Apparently he met his fiance playing D3. And, you know, multiple people posted that they met super friends and you and i met through diablo yeah. 3 and uh, we're besties now so like, yeah wow who would have thought 
I mean, <laughs> blocking your calls years later. It's insane. Yeah, I know. Um, but no, I think that it's weird for me and I, I'm not sure where your experience has been, but like for me, my entire life basically has been, my friend's circle has been dictated by video games. Like yeah. uh, in high school, I hung out with people that like played Super Smash Brothers, Goldeneye, and we just do that like on weekends. After high school, my entire friend circle was based around Halo. Um, and then, you know, more recently it's like, it's been Diablo. And I'm sure if like, you know, me and the, all the streamer boys from D3 like live closer to each other, we'd probably hang out, who knows? Yeah, yeah, um, well, virtually hang out yeah. in game. Besides that yeah. Leviathan guy, but I mean. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it's, um, before you guys get pissed off, he's joking. So I think it's, uh, it's interesting because I agree with that. I, so my my circle of friends has always been dictated by the hobbies that I'm enjoying at the time. And so like in high school, uh, I was into sports. So I hung out with other guys that, you know, played basketball. If you play basketball, we were buds and that's all we did all day, every day. Um, and then as I got more into video games, it was whatever game I was on. So uh, WoW buddies, you know, when I'm huge into WoW, Diablo 3. The reason I played Diablo 3 is because of my circle of friends. My WoW friends who were also IRL buddies got me onto Diablo three. So I wasn't, I wasn't really, it wasn't on my radar for real until, you know, they hyped it up and yeah. it's the same now, I guess, man, it, it is, it's a hundred percent dictated by hobbies. You know, when I, when I went through my little, I'm into cars phase, then I had car buddies. And now that I'm not really into cars as much, like I don't talk to them as much anymore. Yeah. You know, so totally. yeah. you get that. Yep. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's been, uh, interesting for me. Uh, okay. So obviously Diablo two is ramping up as we get closer and closer. We're only two weeks, I think two weeks and a day away from the launch day of Diablo two resurrected and, you know, blizzards hyping up and ramping up the hype for D2 mm -hmm, with these little mm -hmm. class videos. They just came out the Necro it, one yesterday. Yeah, I haven't seen the Necro one yeah, yet, yeah, yeah. actually. It's the only one I Is cared it? about and posted in the schedule. <laughs> I, don't, I think there's oh. other classes, but no one cares. Yeah, I, I'm looking, I'm look, I'm watching the video you're playing right now. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah, they got, you know, we'll, we'll see how the launch goes. I wonder, I think that they had a really big turnout for beta or, you know. Okay. Yeah, and and um, I'm curious to see how the the launch is going to go. If it's going to go buttery smooth, we're going to have problems like they did in Europe. Did they mm -hmm. learn from the you know the 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 PTRs and the betas and shit that they they let people test? So probably it looks cool, man. I'm I'm like, I'm like stuttering because I'm watching the video. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the necro the necro looks pretty pretty dope. It does. I agree. He's always been the dope. best class in every Diablo yeah. game. So. I'll have to start Necro, you know. So if you guys want to see some top tier Necro gameplay, you know where to. <laughs> well, I think actually that weekend I, I won't be in town, of course. Um, really? Yeah. Damn. No. Figures. Classic where are you going, me. dude? Uh, I think I'm just going to go to Colorado for the weekend. Nice. I have been like, I'm itching like I owe. Because like I haven't traveled obviously since the accident and like before that mm -hmm. a little bit. And so like I'm, I'm Jones and it's like. I think next weekend, the weekend after that, I'll be out of town. Nice. Doing stuff. Doing the stuff? Gotta get my are you just doing weekend trips or are you, yeah, are you going trips. for a while? Weekend okay. trips. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so like these are pretty cool. I, I think that whoever is in charge of the PR for D2 is, is doing a good job. Um, pretty quick fixes of the new stuff. Uh, I thought this was really interesting too. And this is not something I ever really knew was a thing because I wasn't like deep into like the forums of Diablo 2 back in the day and stuff like that. But there's a pretty yeah. messed up bug called like NAM. Uh, never hit after a miss. Never hit. Oh wait, next hit always misses. So it's like anytime you dodge or block mm -hmm. and it interrupts your hit, your next hit will 100% miss. Even if you're like accuracy ratings god tier. Which is crazy and to me. Yeah, I've heard about this bug because of the, it was brought up, I think. Somebody brought it up in one of the round tables we were on or some somewhere I've seen somebody talk about it before. So it's in the back of my mind, but um I saw in the patch notes or something that it was fixed, that they had fixed it or were addressing it. Mm. 
are thinking about addressing it or something, something to that effect. So what did you find here? Uh, no, that's not the case. Rod Ferguson said uh, something that they'll be looking to like post launch, uh, but at launch it will definitely not. Oh, still be, be in there. Yeah. yeah. So Interesting. Rip. Yeah, I, I do know that this was brought up in, before. So I wonder if it was, if it's like, damn, that's so deep. We're not even going to touch it. Or if it was just like, we want the original experience. Yeah, you know? there's a lot of actually good articles out there. Like of the guy that eventually did fix it and then like made a mod around it. He like has a, like a really in-depth, like basically an article that explains like what the problem was and how he fixed it and all that stuff. So, so the work's already done for die, Yeah, it's already <laughs> done. But I think it's not yeah. like necessarily like the easiest fix. So who knows? Yeah. That's what I think is, is things like this are super funny is because like, you know, GTA 5, and I, we talked about it on the pod, I think forever ago, a couple months back when it happened, but it had this crazy bug where the game was trying to access some database file like several billion times uh, during a load cycle and it was causing the game to load slow as hell. Mm. And like, and like the game's been out since 2013 and it was like 2020 and some random guy, like modder guy finds the bug, patches it sends it over to Rockstar and they're like, yo, good job, dude. Thanks. We didn't know. And like the game load times are cut down by like 80%. Damn. Like how crazy is that? Like the, the rock GTA five is, I think the second or first best selling game of all time ever. Like it's absolutely nutty. Jeez. So, and some random dudes just like hacking their shit. <laughs> he finds a fuck <laughs> in the code. And he's also, he was just nice enough to submit it to him. He's like, yeah, here you go. I mean, do you guys know that you can fix this? <laughs> And so, damn. Yeah. Like you're welcome. Thanks, dude. Yeah. They gave him ten they gave him ten grand. Wow. So yeah, I mean, that is, sounds like an unfortunate bug. And I oof, I hate missing in games. Mm -hmm. Like I really, really dislike I, I don't like yeah. missing I don't as think, a mechanic. I don't think hit rating as a mechanic is very appealing. I agree. Either. I think it's I think it's really silly and WoW does that a lot and it bothers me because it's like gotta get hit cap. So you're just like stacking a stat yep. to make your skills work. It's like, well, they you already why do you have the skills? Yep. You know what I mean? PoE's the same way. Like casters don't have to worry about it. Just like melee and you know, range people that have yep. attacks. So casters actually have in a while. It's 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 silly. It's it's just a silly mechanic. Yeah. And that would be cooler if you if they would just dedicate that into something else that's that actually at least sounds cool. Like you could do armor pin, you could do like bleed you could do there's so many other melee mechanics that you could use besides hit you know yep so great it's very not fun um but i found this post which i thought was pretty interesting so this is all the stuff that they decided to give to d2 27 things so far okay uh so number one was auto gold pickup um number two is advanced stat screen which is pretty great um number three is stash size increased to 10 by 10 plus three added shared tabs. Pretty big. Yeah. Uh, four is gamble refresh button, uh, which is pretty cool. Number five is cow king uh, killing, causing the lockout is removed. So, you know, if you accidentally kill the cow king, you're not effed, which is good. Uh, ability to link items in chat to show other players. Yay for oh. uh, RMT. Uh, no game creation limits. Um, <laughs> So limitless runs, uh, new battle net system, so you can like invite friends and stuff like that, which would be great. Mm -hmm. uh, no character expiration, which I wish I would have had. I, I'd love to have my old characters, but they're all gone. Yeah. Um, ladder only unique items unlock for single player. Uh, yep. Ladder only rune words unlock for single player. Um, end game events unlock for single player, like the Uber Diablos and stuff. Um, playable on Xbox, P PlayStation, Switch with cross progression. That's interesting. This yeah. I can't imagine playing D two Diablo two on a Switch. I just can't. <laughs> I, yeah. I can't really imagine playing Diablo two on a console. But yeah, it's, it's gonna um, be a wild time. They did a good job with with it. Yeah, I feel like so. Um, global servers. So no more just like East West. Um, more details for mercenary abilities, which is, you cool. know, more information is better. Hold mm -hmm. shift to compare items with equipped, which is fantastic. Yeah. That's like, how? 
So not in the game. Uh, enable loot drop names to be up all the time instead of me holding alt. Thank you very much. <laughs> Control click that's, that's... items into stash instead of drag and drop. Thank God. Uh -huh. Um, WSG strength and e-bugs removed. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, unique appearance of items now show accurately on your character when equipped. Cool. Mm. Character selection screen has ultra close-up of your character plus a detailed backdrop of the current act. Sweet. Okay. Wide screen support, 19.9. Nice. Uh, yay. Uh, more accessibility options, controller support, uh, text size, colorblind, etc. Great. Is 19 by 9 ultra widescreen? Uh, I think 21 by 9 is ultra widescreen. Is it? I don't know. Uh, TCP IP removed. Rip. So. <laughs> yeah. The dreams. Modding's in incredibly the Multiplayer difficult. modding is, feels yeah. Yeah, bad. Uh, increased overall map visibility. Great. Uh, completely new gra graphics engine with remastered cinematics. And then uh, optional toggle for mist text to appear, which will be good. Nice. Yeah. Yep. More data. And so that, you know, you know if you hit or missed. Yeah. But yeah, it's a pretty big list. I mean, for a game that, get, if it gets any changes, people freak the fuck out. It's still a pretty big list. Yeah. Did they put, yeah, they did. That was like auto gold pickup. That was number one on this mm -hmm. list. Yeah. Which yeah, man. Some people, some people are super pissed about pissy about a lot of these changes, and you know, like I couldn't imagine not having auto cold pickup I personally, know. but I want to um, get carpal tunnel for sure. Yeah, yeah it doesn't make like, sense. I'm just gonna be lazy and not pick it up, you know. Yeah. So, but I think that that's their case for the people that are anti. Cause it's like, well, if you don't want to pick it up, you don't deserve. You know, ugh. you don't dig it. Yeah, just chill, right. Chill on. You can be a broke bitch. <laughs> um. <laughs> that's it. And then the one thing that, you know, we've kind of touched on a couple times, but it's got, you know, it's the elephant in the room that we cannot not consider is the fact that, I mean, bots, mm -hmm. historically, Blizzard's not very good. And the Diablo game is about doing anything about the bots and uh, in a game that is open trade. Obviously, there's going to be a explosion of little RMT websites here and there you know, selling Hellfire mm -hmm. Charms and... You know, Stone of Jordans and whatever your heart desires. And, uh, yeah, they got to, they, you know, a way that they can combat the bots is if they can make the investment to get a character able to, to botting status cost more than they can make on it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? If they, if the investment to buy an account, mm -hmm. level a character, get that character geared enough. To actually start farming loot to sell on their website or however they're going to make money yeah that that investment price and time has to be it has to have a ramp to it agreed that's why free to play is always so bad is because there's no upfront cost well, like there's 40 bots. bucks to play d2r right yeah it's 40 dollar time and then you're going to have to i would assume complete the acts to get meaningful gear mm -hmm. and so somebody's going to have to hand play that or i guess the bots can play it if they're good enough right and then get your character geared up enough to do runs to get the loot drops to start selling. So, you know, um, yeah, I at mean... least for at least for the the gold transactions, like to buy equipment. But now the bots still might be there for the people that just wanted to have it play their character and, and grind gear. So there, I guess there's two different. You know, are you are you doing this to sell on a website? Or are you doing this for personal gain? You right. Know? And I mean, um, like, if it's anything like D three, like you know, these basically go unchecked. Forever and forever yeah. and forever. So, yeah, you know the cost to get back in is <laughs> very low because the patrolling amount is very low. So, right, yeah, Almost. the chance of getting of getting hit in D three are, you know what, once one once a million, year. yeah, <laughs> once a year, and then you you just buy a couple extra accounts when it goes on yeah. sale on on you know Black Friday or whatever. Yep. So yeah, I hope, man, I hope that they're on top of this. You know the the team that's behind it. You know, they, they seem like they know what they're doing. They're good. So yeah. hopefully they get some anti-cheat in the house and and uh, and go crazy with it. The dream. Dest Destiny launched a new anti-cheat and with their new season. And so the That's first day of the new... Uh, I guess, okay. I haven't kept up with it very crazy. 
But the first day of the new season and the first day of the new anti-cheat, I assumed all the bots wouldn't be working. Either mm -hmm. they would be like, yo, we're down right now because we don't want you to get banned. Right. Or B, they're not updated. So I actually went in PvP for um, a couple hours that day just because I'm like, I know that I'm fighting real people. <laughs> at least I hope I'm fighting real people. Yeah. And it was it it felt so much more competitive than I remember. Like the last time I played. I remember thinking like this is this is total bs man like i'm getting smoked from people that it's like either they're matching me with literal you know fps gods every game or people are cheating like crazy and these competitive i was like oh like i'm getting i'm about 50 50 in most of my engagements which is where it should be in you know multiplayer so um it felt good you know yeah i hope i hope good it's, i hope it's doing doing things is the so, game any better though? Because even without bots, oh, the multiplayer shit. Uh, not really, man. <laughs> no, the game. The game is the game's going in a better direction, but I don't. know, Maybe it's it's like it's it's kind of lost me a little. You yeah. know, like I, I really want that game to be super good, but I jump back into it and I don't get sucked in. I, I don't have that feeling of like, dude, I can't wait to play again. You know, I haven't had that for a long time with Destiny, so it sucks. But um, but people like it. There's still a lot of people who are like, oh, I'm having a blast. I love it. So, you know. Right on. All right, uh, brace yourself. Okay. Everyone's favorite subject on the new meta podcast. Arguably okay. everyone's favorite ARPG. Got okay. a bit of uh, Wilson news. Wilson. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, what did you guys do? It's been, it's been a while. What did you get done? So Wilson's big update has been delayed. Oh, no. Um, Not like this. Yeah, yeah. It was initially planning on September, October, but to keep it realistic, they're doing uh, October, November now. So, rip. But you know, delaying is always fine in my book as long as the stuff's good. I'd but rather that's have always the content. question with yeah. Wilson is, yikes! You know, historically, yeah. what what you know, like the big thing they say here is so Wilson's studio keeps growing in size. And some amazingly talented people have joined us to make this all possible. And we'll keep working towards these goals while keeping you all in the loop to make sure we're going in the right direction. So it sounds like they're ramping the team signs. Yeah. You know, we are Maybe. seeing updates this far along. You know, they're they're keeping the, the game alive. So maybe one day, you know, we'll also have like the comeback story of the year, right? No, but it's nice to drink. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Maybe, I dude. Did. You never know. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. You know, maybe. I'm sure if, you know, I don't know. They got to come out before Lost Ark, too. Like, they got to do something before Lost Ark. That's that's going to be my hold me over until PoE. I hope. I hope it's my hold me over. Or you, until, you, so you still think PoE 2 is coming before D4? Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You don't? You don't I think don't so? Know. I don't know. Like I, I feel like, dude, I feel like D four. Uh, yeah, we'll talk. I, I, we got a question on the pod related to this. So I'm not okay. gonna, I'm not gonna ruin that question though. Okay. Cool, but we're gonna, we're gonna hit that subject later. Um, and then you know, in other news, the last epoch got actually a massive update. Um, okay. It's called the Sands of Majasa. Majasa. Uh, and they had a whole bunch of stuff, and I think they got quick like yeah so 15 that new game zone. has come so so long oh God, so yeah. far and it's visuals like it's visuals have i mean it it wasn't i remember when i very first saw it i was like uh eh, right you know it looks good now man yeah uh but 15 new zones and 30 new enemies 45 new weapon models 35 plus unique items new skills new primalist model monolith updates which is the end game system if you guys remember from the last time we talked about it but yeah, hit uh, just last week. What are, is this a free update or is this a DLC? I wonder. It's free. I mean, this game is not even released yet. Yeah, but they have a bunch of DLCs that you can buy if I remember correctly. I don't think so. I'll look real quick. Do that. But yeah, they get like the it. patch notes up, and it's a pretty big list. I like to see a big juicy patch patch note list. Uh, but yeah, like I said, nine game changes, a whole bunch of uniques that change how skills function. And even all new skills all together. What game has all the DLCs for it? There's another ARPG that I have it. I never played it, but I bought it. And it's got like 50 billion DLCs. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to <laughs> look it up. There's there's definitely one out there. 
I, I can't think of what it is right now though. Hmm. So yeah, big changes, big changes, yeah. more balance. That's cool. Keep you know? keep going, last teapot. Keep doing your thing, Do it. sneaky Steve. Do it up, man. Yeah, sneaky Steve. Maybe someday they'll they'll sneak their way into best ARPG on the market. Maybe. You know, you know? do it. Got promise. I still haven't played with the monolith endgame system myself, so I, I mean, I really... I, I would love to see multiplayer feedback. If people, if, you know, any of the viewers play multiplayer and play with buddies, like, how does it run? Is it smooth? Is it good? Is it choppy? Um, is it beneficial? Is it... Because, like, like, PoE to me feels non-beneficial to play with friends, whereas, like, Diablo feels like, yeah, you want your homies in the game. So... I don't think there's multiplayer yet in Last Epoch. No multiplayer yet? No yeah. yet. I know they've been talking about it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. talked about it, I think, five yeah. podcasts ago or something. Yeah, yeah. That's what so, the next big thing is. That'll that'll multiplayer. be a, a huge a huge turning point, I feel, for them if they can nail that and make it make it worthwhile, make it fun. Yeah. Be interesting. Or just do SSF. Yep. That's the way better player to play every game. <laughs> SSF. Come on, dude. Official SSF, and that's the only way to play. Let's do it. I mean, it's basically Path of Exile is, so... Uh, but uh, yeah, and so also this weekend, September yes, Grim 11th. Dawn, chat just told me Grim Dawn's the one with the billion DLCs. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the one. I bought Grim Dawn. Grim Dawn's I, a I solid game. It. it is a solid I, I game. Own, Still, yeah, it holds up. I'm just looking. Let's see. Yeah, I own it, and I have some of the DLCs. There's a billion of them, though, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, six DLCs. It's oh, nice. a good game. Good play. Uh, but this is Gauntlet League starts again this uh, Saturday 11th and you know as usual Shopify is matching up to 25k nice, in like dude. the donations from the community so the price pool could be nutty and on top of that nice. there's a bunch of you know giveaways if you compete and you get entered into drawings and you know there's like yeah, GPU PC t-shirts Keyboard. He's got all kinds of yeah. stuff, man. Like witches, top witch gets eight percent, second, third, fourth. Pretty dope. He's got yeah, I mean he's got all kinds of he's got random draw prizes. So if you even if you just play, you still have a chance to win. Get level fifty, random draw level sixty. I like the fact that his rewarding systems that he does on all these aren't just like first person to do XYZ SSF hardcore. Right. You know what I mean? It's like if you play a chance you can win and the more you play the higher your chances you know? i agree so it's I like, like that you just, just like just by playing just by competing you get answered into yeah, like a drawing and stuff, so. random people working people you have a chance yeah you know yeah which is dope so again that's this saturday um 9 a.m cdt so if you guys are interested in that head on over to uh at the Excel's website they actually featured it in the news so you can get in there um, and then in other non Path of Exile stuffs is uh, Overwatch Two. Oh, dubs! On Dex. <laughs> we haven't heard a lot about these guys. Yeah, dot com. They apparently um, internally, Blizzard has said that uh, they were looking to get it out before twenty summer of twenty twenty two. Okay, that's almost a year away, but yeah. But good for something like, we have a date on. It'd be like maybe like if you're a big fan of you know Diablo and yeah, you got a hint yeah, yeah. of when Diablo could release. It'd be pretty exciting news. So it would be it would be exciting. Except for a beta that we played of Overwatch Two was garbage. <laughs> maybe there, was I would so hope there'd be like a new beta before then. But oh man, it's scary though because we haven't seen anything since 2019, and it wasn't it wasn't fun in 2019. So you know, I hope that they added. Uh, something I'm, I'm I'm skimming this article. Like it would be nice to see some of the new game modes fleshed out. Like they had some new game modes in in the demo we did in 2019, but I don't think that they hit the mark. I don't I don't think that they were a super solid and fleshed out game modes. I think they needed to uh, to do something different with them. But um, but that's cool. I, you know, I like Overwatch. I I think about playing it frequently. I never <laughs> fire it up, it's, but it's the thought that counts. Yeah, but it is. It's it's one of those games that's like, man, I I really would it'd be fun to jump in and then I'm like, oh, I don't have it installed. Like I'll I'll just wait, you know. But it's you know, I, I wouldn't mind playing Overwatch. I think Apex has kind of taken over my Overwatch bug. Like usually before when I jump in yeah. and play Overwatch, I'll just jump on and play Apex now. Soon um, Halo. 
Yeah, well, hopefully baby, it's good, man. Baby, baby, baby. Listen, I don't know if you've played Apex's arena mode. It's fun. Like, the arena mode is is better, I think, than the BR. So I've, I've enjoyed it. So yeah, one finna- of these days when you get your, your, your twitchy fingers back, we can, we'll jump in. There's nothing like jumping into a brand new sh- shooter, though. That's like the best. Yeah. yeah. It's always, you know, wreck. I just pick up things faster than most people, so... Uh, but then you put this on the schedule. This is actually something I didn't catch. Lost yeah. Ark September team update. What's going on here? Yeah. So they dropped this uh, yesterday, and um, it's it's just the update, like a status update to the community, I guess. It says Heroes of Arcasia, and since a technical alpha, we've been working hard. And you can go through. There's a lot of stuff to read. I don't want to read the whole thing, but uh, the localization is really cool. And I think that this is a big hang-up as to why they they kind of push the game back. Um, but, but they did confirm the various languages that the game's going to be in and they may, maybe already confirmed this and I, I don't know, but this is the first that I read it. And it says, as you may know, we're publishing Lost Ark in English, Spanish, French, and German. Um, that's four languages worth of quests, stories, skills, items, skills, and any other in-game text you can think of. And that doesn't even include voiceover performances. Yeah. Um, and then th- I thought these, this was interesting. It says Lost Ark contains nearly 3 million words of English text and is still growing. It's about the same length as every book in A Song of Ice and Fire, aka Game of Thrones, right? multiplied by two. So if you've read all those Game of Thrones books, uh, you're like, damn, <laughs> twice as twice as much text as that entire series. Way to make it nerdy, relatable, you know, with the Game of yeah, Thrones. I know. <laughs> but I actually I read the books, so that's the only yeah. series I think I've read, honestly, but... Um, all this must be translated from first to Korean, then to English, and then from English to French, German, Spanish, and all the languages. So they kind of go in and you can, you can read and see like the, the woes of the translation. Uh, but I thought that was kind of cool. A little insight as to like why they delayed the game. And then they go, they talk about the infrastructure. Um, and they say that Lost Ark has been operating in South Korea since 2018, but expanding, expanding it to the West has introduced some interesting challenges when it comes to the game's new infrastructure. We've been working hard to ensure Lost Ark operates smoothly for all players in supported regions. And you and I can attest that Lost Ark's netcode is so yeah, fabulous. Maybe. Like we can play across the world and it still feels local. It feels insanely yeah. good with crappy, with crazy crap ping. Yep. And it says, so when we published the game in a span of new regions, one of our goals was to reduce latency of our customers could experience due to their varied locations. To accomplish this, we made the decision to deploy Lost Ark in multiple data centers. So on top of on top of like that amazing net code, now if they do West, Central, Eastern regions and NA and, and whatever else, man, we're going to have some amazing ping times. Uh, and they say, sounds simple, right? It turns out multiple data centers require altering the, the uh, topology of the server architecture. So tech changes were necessary to get everything with our internal services. So they go on and describe like all the shit that they had to do to make the game work. Yeah. And then testing. And then they talk about the striker class and the, uh, and like all that practice, uh, looking for Makoko seeds has paid off. Um, <laughs> you know, people basically found out that the striker class is going to be there at launch, which is one of the newer classes. And, right. Uh, so that's pretty dope. So, yeah. So it's just a, a cool little article, man. It's it's a nice little insight to see um, why it's like, yo, just translate it. What's taking so long? Like, mm-hmm. I guess that's, you know, that's why it's taking so long. And they're going to voice over all the stuff in all the languages and, and uh, it's cool. So, yeah. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, should be fun. PvP, let's go, dude. PvP, let's do it. Um, Get that's kind of all the topics we have on the schedule. Hey, to win. Yeah, let's talk about some. Uh, we'll do some Twitter questions. Let's talk about some some fluff hates and some peach child loves. Yeah. Okay. Fluff hates. Uh, ah, streaming and trying to date mm. is. Is quite tough because stream. Yeah, you want to like, you know, keep your schedule open because if, if you're like talking up a girl, you're like, oh, you know, like, hey, you want to meet for coffee or you want to have some drinks? Like, what days work for you? And you're like, okay, well, I'm going to stream Tuesday, Wednesday this week. It's gonna be great. And then she's like, well, I'm, I'm free Tuesday. You know, like, god damn it, <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think that that has been a, a big challenge. Is like to to really date successfully and like you know to, to find someone that you like probably would like it, it takes work it takes time and uh 
that's hard yeah. to come by as someone that wants to stream as much as I do. And yeah, that's, it's been a big challenge. It's been a big challenge I'm with you because there's been a lot of nights where I'm like, okay, tonight's the night we're going to stream. And it's just like, well, do you want to nope. go out and you want to, can I come over and cuddle? <laughs> you want to Netflix and chill? You're like, it's like, cool. You want to do it on stream? And like, no, you're like, I'm not stream gonna do that. <laughs> or Netflix and chill. Well, you know, there's yeah, a yeah. site where you can Netflix and chill on stream fluff. There you go. You could, you could do it, you know? Yeah. Um, so that's been tough. It's interesting. It's, it's like, you know, I, I can't relate too much because my wife and I have been together since before the end. Yeah. But you, you, when you have mistresses, but, it's really hard to stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I will say that, uh, when my wife and I met, it was Blackwing Layer launch mm. in Classic WoW, <laughs> vanilla Classic WoW. So this this puts the time frame for you guys that played back then. And uh, we were just transitioning into BWL, and I had raid nights on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. And so she was always trying to come kick it on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. And so at first it's easy. You're just like, no, I can't, I can't hang out. You know, let's, let's kick it Friday. Let's do Saturday, Sunday. But after you started dating a little bit, then it's like, okay, I'm running out of excuses on why I'm never available on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So finally I was like, all right, yeah, just come on over and like, but here's, here's the deal. Like I play this game with my buddies oh, on shit. Tuesday. You know, I play this game with my buddies on Tuesdays. Uh, so if you want to come over, that's cool. But I'm going to be playing in, in my... She's been to my house. Like I, I've always had a computer set up, like a computer room. Right. So I'm like, I'm, I'm going to be playing in my computer room so like you can hang out and watch TV or do whatever. She's like, okay, cool. So she comes over and we're chilling and then raid time comes. I'm like, hey, it's time for me to go hang out with the homies. I'll catch you in a little bit. And I was like, mm -hmm. you good? You need anything? Like, If you need something, just let me know. She's like, okay. And I go down and start raiding and then like, you know, three hours goes by and then I see like her head pops in the door. And she's like, <laughs> um, I guess I'm going to go home. And I'm like, wait, what's the matter? And she's like, I just, you know, she was like kind of pissy, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what's the matter? And she's like, well, you said you were going to play with friends. I didn't think that you meant all night. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's kind of like why I don't hang out on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Somehow I recovered and we didn't split up through that. So. But, right on. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. It's hard to it's hard to balance that. And know? I haven't even gotten to like like no one's gotten to the point where I'm like, oh yeah, like I I stream. You know, like I I do that. I've talked about like, well, I do some like side hustles to like yeah. you know, yeah. to that keep me pretty yeah. busy, but I've never I've not yeah. talked about. You tell them about the podcast. Is that what they know what you're doing right now? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You do a pod, you know? Everyone yeah. does a podcast these days, so it's not a big deal. So yeah, I know. Oh, no, I'm not saying like you know right. we're internet famous or anything, but yeah. well, I mean we are the number one <clears throat> uh, Diablo three. <laughs> yep. Yeah, number one everything. Yep. Right? Yep. Yeah, for sure. Oh, you stream on Instagram Live? Yeah, OnlyFans. Is that what you get? Yeah, Instagram Live. Um. So for me, I'm gonna go to some P Child Loves. Okay. And um. I went and saw the new, hold on, let me, let me. The 10 rings? Yeah, I got it. I'm, I'm looking it up to make sure that I say the, the name right. <laughs> you can just say um, 10 rings. Everyone's going to know what yeah, you're talking about. It's the 10 rings. Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. I, I always want to say Shang Tsung because more wow. than that, you know, it's just super bad. Shang-Chi. I went and saw Shang-Chi, man. And it was, it's cool because. It was the first, this is the first theater movie I've seen, Okay, I think, since the pandemic hit, you know? I, I don't remember going to another movie. I may have, maybe have gone to one, but I, I don't remember if I have. Um, but my wife and I are big, uh, we're big movie fans. Right. We're, like, that's that's kind of, like, always been our date thing, and it's everybody's date thing, so it's not, like, unique. But it's it's something that we did together and enjoyed, and we'd always go to dinner and a movie. Like, that was kind of the, just the, the deal. And so we went to uh, dinner and a movie for the first time and, and saw Ten Rings. She didn't actually want to go see it. She's like, I think it's going to be stupid. And I'm like, that's all right. It's a Marvel movie. It won't be that bad, right? right. And uh, we went and saw it. And it was, it was good. If you guys haven't seen it, I think it was um, it was high on the list. If, the, if you rated all the Marvel movies, it's on the upper echelon. It's not, okay. it's, it's not like Black Widow or anything, you know? So. Is Black Widow not good? 
I didn't personally think so. I didn't think it was complete garbage, but it was definitely on the bottom, mm. the bottom tier of Marvel movies. You know, it, 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 it felt like a pandemic movie. It doesn't seem like there's been a, a ton of great movies that have come out in this, in this pandemic. So this is, this is a good one, man. And it was theaters only. So it forced me. Cause like I have, I have subscriptions to all the things. Like I have the Disney pluses and the HBOs. And so like, you know, Suicide Squad came out. I watched it at home because I got HBO. What do you about that? It, it was funny. It was. It yeah. wasn't what I expected. It was, it was okay. It was dumb. What? Yeah. The village scene. The village scene was good, dude. Like that was that was funny. That was the good. The village scene. Like yeah, they're going through the village and they're they're doing the doing the thing in the village and at the end they're like, oops. Mm. No. You remember that? Yeah. I think it was funny. It's been done. Yeah. You're lame. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> DC just like keeps striking out over and over. Well, yeah, I think I don't I don't think it was a, a fantastic movie by any means, but I think it was it was I don't think it was better than the first Suicide. No, movie. I don't think it's better than the first one. It's better better yeah. than the second one. But the Harley Quinn movie sucked. Like that was horrible. Yeah, that was the the Birds of Prey one. movie. Yeah, yeah. That was like that was one I actually like turned off and walked away. I was like, this is so bad, and I was excited for it. So yeah. Um, but no, it was good, man. I think I think uh, Ten Rings was was good yeah Check if out. i didn't have such a crush on Mar margot robbie i i don't know that i would have finished it yeah the <laughs> new one yeah yeah no it wasn't that bad it, it was, was okay it was not good so, that's it that's my loves you know what else crazy happened i just have a story this is okay okay the loves or hates i was leaving my house today I had to go wait you uh, left your house this is already crazy i know right i actually left the house today I was driving to go take my son to get a haircut. He's got picture day tomorrow, so I had you know get him get, get that, those that corn rolls haircut. updated. Yeah, you know, get them updated. <laughs> and so we jump in the car, and we start to leave. And I see a police helicopter flying around, and then I hear tons of sirens. I'm mm -hmm. like, "Ooh, something's going down." And so I I pull out of my street, and then I you know turn make the couple turns to get on toward the bigger street. And there's this one guy that has like a shit ton of property in the middle of the suburbs. And okay. it's like that one old farmer guy that wouldn't sell out, you know, like you could just tell, you know, it's that one dude is sitting on millions and millions and millions of, of dollars of, of like highly wanted land. Desirable. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got like a wooded fence line around it where you can't really see into his property and just, just this really nice, really nice area. And that the copter is just like flying around this area and and all of a sudden 10 cop cars go by lights on i'm like oh crap you know and then you see more zooming around and, and stuff turns out there was like in the shooter like on his estate capping stuff today just like shooting things wow and i'm just like wow that's nutty so that's that's my story it's not like nothing super crazy happened but it was it's that you don't see that like just I just another day in st louis basically <laughs> you don't see you don't see the choppers very often man but they were definitely trying to track this dude and they were they were locking down the area they had like all the cops out it was it was nutty so and then of course everybody's like looking and you know trying yeah. to see what's going on shit so that's why st louis is the murder capital you know oh no it's dude kansas city's worse man mm -mm. facts we don't have to go down this road again. You you already lost. And this was a fact mm. check that we did. Live. I don't. Did we, no, I don't. Yes. I don't think so. No, I don't. I don't. I don't agree. Hey, chat, this is the worst. Help me out, chat. Help me out. Um, um let's right. go to some Twitter questions. Let's do it. You guys want to submit Twitter questions to the podcast? You can submit them at the Peach Out at Lord underscore underscore Fluffy or in our discords. Okay. The first question comes from Hex. And he says, do you think Diablo 4 will launch in 2022 when they announced it in 2019 that felt so far away? Now, not so much. This is why we talked about this earlier, about PoE2 before D4. What are your thoughts? Um, you know, when I initially saw the announcement, I, I didn't think till like 2023. Like I, I put that on the table. I'm, I'm still thinking I'm going to stick to that. I think that if they come out next year based on everything we've seen so far yikes yeah i jokingly said 23 also but i was kind of not serious like i said it but i was like god that's so far away i hope not like you know it was like when is it gonna come out i'm like 23 lol you know but now honestly that's 
if it i'm with you if it comes out before 23 i think it would probably not be good it would not be in a good state it would be a bad game it would flop and ultimately we'd be worse off so it yeah. does seem like forever, man. They said Blizzard long. They weren't lying, dude. Twenty, yeah, not 20, even Blizzard 19. soon. I mean, we're talking four years. So yeah. Uh, no, I'm gonna say no. I don't think it's gonna launch in 22. Mm -hmm. So, um, Saeed said I watched five episodes of the podcast before I realized Peacha wasn't dat mods. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Man. Is that a question? Uh, no, there's a question that follows okay. it up. I was just I was just giving a little moment to analyze that. Um he says questions. Uh thoughts to improve primal legendaries. I mean, the thing that we talked about time and time again is like breaking down a primal, you get like primal mm -hmm. dust. Yep. That will let you reforge yeah. a primal or something. There's a couple ways they could do it. Um yeah. primal dust is is the easy win, I think. Yeah. Dismantling a primal gives you some kind of currency. That currency is used to upgrade, um, let's just say, ancient legendaries into primals at the cube, or lets you reroll a stat on a primal, or does something meaningful to make those shitty primals you get not as shitty, um, or give them value to break them down to dust. So, mm -hmm. as far as a power creep thing, I don't think you add more power to a primal. I don't I don't think that's really a win because that's just artificial power creep that we don't there's other ways you can get power creep that would be better than, yeah. than primals. That's so. the one thing that Diablo 3 really lacks is that that feeling of investment in an item. Like once you hit like a primal, like say weapon, it's like, well, I'm kind of done with that slot. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not continuing to vest into this this item. And you could talk about like you know, putting more uh, gem levels into it and augmenting it, but it, what if that's they, continued investment. But it's what not. if primals dropped and they were like not even ancient legendary power and you had to level them up? You had to get them experience. Well, then it's too much like that old WoW system that they had where you would like level your paragon slash item that didn't really hit. The legendary in WoW, the yeah. legendary, like the necklace used to like you could level it. And... Yeah, yeah, you're you're talking about the yeah the legendaries from Legion or, mm -hmm. or um, BFA. Well, the BFA one was oh, fucking god, it was bad. It was so bad. The one for Legion was okay. It, it wasn't it wasn't the end. Of, it was an okay system. They could have fixed it a little bit better, but it was it was okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think leveling, I, there's got to be some way to make you feel a little more bonded with your items. Yeah. Like you like you said, once you get the drop and you re-roll it, you're done. You augment it, I guess. But there's no like investment in that weapon, so to say. Right. Um, there should I, be that Destiny, feeling of like you finish a season, it's like, man, it took me all season to craft this. Yeah. Or to, or to, to some way never to been that in D3. Yeah. Destiny used to have Destiny One used to have this system that I actually liked, um, and that's when you got a weapon in Destiny One. When a weapon dropped, it none of the mods and and none of the power was really unlocked. Like you had your mm -hmm. base weapon, but you had to play with that weapon and and kill things and get experience and level it up. And then once the weapon got unlocked, then you would unlock perks. You had perk choices, and it made it more powerful, made it do more damage. So the cool part was that you could get a new weapon. And you're like, man, I don't really know if I like this. I don't know if this is a gun that I'm going to like to shoot. I don't know what it's going to feel like. These perks could be amazing. Let's level it up. And then you actually had to invest time. And uh, once you did that, once you got it leveled up, though, like it kind of like that was your gun. You're like, oh, I'm not throwing that away. I put so much time into that thing. Like I'm going to keep it, you know, and use it. So I always kind of wanted something like that and uh, to test it in the ARPG. But ultimately it could, I don't know it could end up sucking so yep uh sauced penguin says um <laughs> what is a job that you associate with jerks cops i was gonna say the same thing dude. <laughs> i was so here's the fucked up part is like there are some super awesome cops out there you sure. know what i mean mm -hmm. but in general the general feeling you get when you see it like i don't know about you and maybe it's me maybe i'm an ass but when I see a cop, I'm like, oh, I was a fucking cop. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like that thought process is the one that goes through your head. Yep. It's not like, oh, hey, 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 Mr. Officer, how you doing? It's like, yo, don't be a dick. Don't pull me over. What are you going to do to me? Like, you know what I mean? 
So, yeah. Yeah. All right. S since you answered cops first, though, I'll pick something different. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go. Dude, the jerk. Uh, lawyers are kind of jerks, but I'm going to say I'm going to say a bouncer. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. I've only met cool bouncers. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know a lot of bouncers, but the couple that I've met, they're like, I'm a bouncer. They're, they're just like, seem super cocky and like, I'm kind of a dick, you know? Yeah, podcasters. That's a good one. Podcasters. True. True. <laughs> good thing I don't know any of those. So, chefs? um, I don't know what that chefs, jerks. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Fluxman says, if you won the lottery, what's the first thing you're going to run out and buy? Mm. I know the I know I know what I would spend a lot of money on, but not the first thing. I mean, the first thing is going to be like some. We're talking like mega mega buku bucks. You know, we'll, we'll say we won like a like you know hundred million. Um, I'm I'm running out and buying a Ferrari, dude. Like like straight up, really right then. Oh, yeah. Mm. For me, like my dream has always been to, if I like won the lottery, what I would instantly do is like get a trip that like but and every one of my friends like also gets like picked up for this trip yeah. but we're all like being told like oh just get in like the limo and you're gonna go somewhere and like your work yeah, already knows yeah, about yeah. it yeah and then you're like yeah and then you're in the you're in the limo too it's like what's going on guys i don't understand <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what's happening yeah that'd be dope that'd be cool yeah that'd be fun yeah man i so it's funny is is like i was actually looking i do you remember these cars as a kid i, I don't know maybe i'm just a car guy so i know but do you remember ferrari testarossa do you nope. remember that car i don't you know anything yeah. about i ferrari couldn't even F40s. point at ferrari if you oh my was God. driving down the street it's like these like yeah there's like some old classic 80s ferraris that i would buy that are stupid expensive still and i'm just they're just like it's like my dream car i just want it in the garage i'd probably drive it today and be like this thing's a pos like you know roll down windows no power windows it's slower than my vet but <laughs> i just want it man it's just like it's my car you know okay so, um but ultimately though i would build a fat ass house like i want mm -hmm. a house designed the way i wanted designed it you know like i, I want the, the things where i want them you know the rooms how i want them yeah I'm, i have a hard time thinking like the first material thing i would buy like i can't think of a one thing I'm fine yeah. with my house. I'd probably still, honestly, if I was a millionaire, I'd probably still live in my house. Like, I don't give a shit. Buy the other one, at least, you know, the one adjacent. Yeah, true. So you could, like, true. party out and yeah, just like, yeah. maybe knock the wall out or something yeah. and just make it, like, you know, super big. I don't know. Not wrong. But, uh, but yeah, trips for sure. Um, Leo the Great says, What's the worst thing that you can lose or misplace? Hmm. I mean, I gotta, car keys. I, I gotta eat. Suck yeah, that's to what lose. I was saying. Car keys, because you never look for them until you have to go. Yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, it's yep. time to leave, and then you're like, like God damn, where are they? Keys. Yeah, yeah, totally. I had a yeah. like a mental break. I think I it was the time you and I went to the lake, and I couldn't fucking find my key. And I went. I've got a BMW, and it's a keyless start, which is kind of ridiculous for a motorcycle. But mm -hmm. uh, if you separate too far from the key, it won't restart. And so like I was pulling up to get gas and like right I saw a thing on my screen. It's like, don't turn off the motorcycle or we won't re really start back up. I hit yeah. the button and sure enough, I was like, shit, well, where's the key? And so then I ended up like walking back to my house from the gas station, which is only two miles. And then I get back to the house and I can't find it in the house. I'm like, what the hell? And so I took my bicycle and went back to the motorcycle. So like clearly I left it on the motorcycle somewhere and nope. So like bicycled two miles and then bicycled back to the house and then I ended up looking like literally along the road the entire way and sure enough it was like in the middle of the road like halfway yeah that's crazy that you found it yeah you know super I was like having a mental it. breakdown that day man oh my god yeah. yeah it's it's uh I put trackers on my keys because mm. like uh, you can see I have tiles on all my keys uh my when my kids were super little, um, they took my car keys. I don't know how they got them. I have, so when you walk in my house, I have like a key rack that hangs on the wall and you just hang your keys up on the key rack, right? And so my wife and I, all, all of our keys, we just put them on the, on the rack when we walk in. And I go to, go to work one day and, you know, 
kids are ready. I'm going to drop them off at daycare. And I can't, my car keys aren't there. And I'm like, I, I'm looking around. I call my wife. You seen the car keys? No, no, no. I ended up spending like three hours looking for these car keys. I finally found them in the bottom of my kid's toy box. Oh, wow. God, so that'd like, be the worst. Yeah. And I didn't have, there's no trackers or anything. Right. I mean, this was, this was like probably 2013, you know, so I don't even know if they existed then, but it's just like, how did they even get them? I don't even know how they got them. They ended up in their <laughs> toy box. It's like, I was at the point where it's like, I don't, I, I give up. Like, I just, you know, I guess I'm not going to where I called in sick that day because Damn. I couldn't find my car keys, you know? How many years um, did it take to recover from that? Like, so anytime you lost your keys after that, you were like, God damn it, kids, where are my keys? Yeah. I like still today. Yeah. <laughs> still today. <laughs> I'm just like, who's, who's messing with my car keys? You I know, I thought about the that. House. Like another yeah. perk of not having kids is like not having to worry mm -hmm. about them, like taking your shit. Messing or, with your stuff. Yeah. 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 You know what's the, what's the worst now is it's phone chargers for me. Mm. Like like my house, everybody's got iPhones, and so your charger is sacred, right? I have chargers plugged in at all the places, and like this this bugged me at your house. You have like one beat up charger in your kitchen, and like yeah, because you know, I don't have like I have a charger in every room. Like if I'm sitting in a room, <laughs> there's a way to plug my phone in, and it's like I'm not my phone's phone. not glued to my Jesus. hand. No, your battery like, sucks, like, obviously. No, I'm just saying like I don't charge it all the time. Mm. but and i don't even have it in my hand all the time but if i need to charge it i want to like not have to go to the other room so but my kids or my wife will walk away with the chargers and i'm just like dude who stole my charger you have your own like don't don't take my charger that's fighting fighting words um what do we get uh future says what video game has been the most hyped slash overhyped slash disappointing of all time like per personally or like overall like, uh let's we'll say personally okay like overall i think cyberpunk really yeah bombed for a lot of people um personally final fantasy 7 remake was by far and away my most disappointing game what'd you say say again final fantasy 7 remake oh. or whatever it's called really Okay. Yeah. You're lying. Stop it. I mean, like, the game that was hyped up and I was looking forward to, and ultimately it was displeased. Wilson wasn't that way for me at all because, like, Wilson kind of came out of nowhere. It was a game that, like, I wasn't that interested in. And it, it kind of generated a little bit of hype, like, a week before it came out with, like, that trailer that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of, like, flopped. But even then, I still feel like I got my money out of Wilson, to be honest. But I definitely got my money on a Final Fantasy VII. I played it for. 50 hours yay <laughs> um i don't know man most overhyped game cyberpunk is high on my list because it was so hyped i knew it wasn't going to live up to it though there was yeah. no way no game could live up to that hype um but it's still not a bad game it's still an okay game like you can go play cyberpunk today and it's an okay game but that's it it's just okay um I, destiny 2 for me mm. i guess like i was so crazy hype for destiny 2 i mean like ridiculously hype for destiny 2 and um it was still it's the same it's the game i put a lot of hours into and i liked it but i had i had expectations that were unrealistic for that game uh and i knew i did personally but i, I would have loved anthem's a good one anthem yeah anthem is very good too yeah that is very good I didn't even hit max level in Anthem. I played it for like 10 hours and I'm like, this game is garbage. It's so bad. Straight garbage. I'm disappointed they didn't reboot that. I'm disappointed they canceled the reboot. Mm -hmm. they, they didn't, you know, get a team to try to fix it because I think conceptually that game was awesome. I think it had an okay story that they, they could have fleshed out better, but it had alien space vibe, Iron Man suits. You're flying around in this beautiful world. It's looter shooter. Like it had so many good things going for it that I think they could have salvaged it. But hmm. Sucks. Uh, this is the last question we had for the day. This comes from Divine One. Divine One says, uh, what would you suggest as your top game to play with your non-gamer girlfriend? Trying to find a game to play together, but I'm striking out. This is topical. Um... Golly. I mean, like, 
you can't really go wrong with Mario Kart, I feel. Like, most people like Mario Kart. Um, the problem is, is your non-gamer girlfriend would have to have some hand-eye coordination to play Mario Kart. Not really. I mean, we take it we take it for granted because we've been gaming our whole lives. If she's never played a game and she picks up Mario Kart, she's gonna struggle. She's definitely gonna struggle. You could do Mario Kart. Kart in like 50 CC, and you literally are just holding down accelerate and turning. Like you can't. <laughs> you don't have to do anything special. Um, like. If, you can even like turn on an option that's like turn for you or something in Mario Kart. Pretty sure. I don't know. Mario, Mario Party. Party. Yeah, Mario Party. Maybe. There's like such investment in the game itself. You know, I've been I've been really like the new Mario Kart on Switch. I fucking hate it because back in the Nintendo 64 days, like there used to be some strategy to how like you ran your game. There's some randomization, but the new ones like all random it's so yeah. random like literally yeah. anyone can win that has no idea what they're doing so yeah. i you can really you can be kicking it. ass and then all of a sudden you just get hit with like a fucking spike shell and then hit with a storm that spins you out and then it's like i just lost now because i can't control this yeah i'm with you i was talking about uh, i don't know man so my wife's a non-gamer um i tell you a game that i actually got her to play more than any other game ever was detroit become human I don't know if you've heard of that yeah. or if you remember it. I think you've talk, yeah, um, talked about it. Yeah, yeah it, it was, um, it's a story-based game. It's like, think of it like a a choose-your-own-adventure movie. Like you're watching the movie and then prompts will come up. And it's like, what action do you want to take? And then, you know, you make the action and it, and it depicts the story with a little bit of walking around. And so like, you don't have to have any any twitch skill. You don't have to have any thumb skill or any, you know, quick reaction based skills i don't feel like uh that was a good one to get started she actually liked that she got into that a mm. little bit so um ultimately the, the story ended up dragging along too far but that yeah, would be I'm, my vote i guess i'm still kind of like uh what's the word i'm looking for scarred from all my gaming experiences with with Lindsay. <laughs> She, she was just awful. Play we played with. so I my experience I have I have insight into this is like we were at we went to the lake and we we're all chilling at the lake. It was me, you, my wife, and <laughs> Lindsay, and a couple other people, and we're playing. We start playing Mario Party, and like she was pretty nice most of the time, and we start playing Mario Party, and she just like flipped the switch and went like total. <laughs> Total asshole mode, you know what I mean? And got pissed, like she lost and got yeah. salty. Yeah. And then and then stopped talking to people and like got mad at you. Actually, I think for some shit, I don't even know, like because you beat her. I I don't even know what, but yeah, it was it was it was pretty funny, man. It was pretty yeah. funny. Yeah. So pretty much every time we ever gamed. Yeah. Ugh. So like anytime yeah. a girl like like you know I've been seeing people and. They're like, oh, like, oh, it's a side thing. I'm like, oh, it's like streaming. Like, I used to be a pro gamer. And they're like, oh my god, that's so interesting. Like, we should, like, you should show me one of the games you play one time. I'm always like, no, no. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> You're gonna but, like maybe it'd be fun, but like I'm just so yeah. like, Ugh, I don't know. I don't think so. Have you seen? Have you? This just came out of out of left field. But have you seen the TV show Impractical Jokers before? Yeah, of course. Okay. Do you like it? I mean, yeah, sometimes. I'm a pretty you big fan. I, I think I've seen every episode ever. Okay, but, um, Because I've been watching it since day one. Like, But I would love to do that someday. Mm. I would love to just go like, grab some guys who have no shame. And I think you could do this. I think of course like, I, could I, could, do that. I could do it and I know <laughs> you could do it too. Like, I would love to do this and then grab like somebody to film and just have us go out and just do like, all right, man, here's the deal. Like, I bet, you know, like you got to do what I say or, or whatever for these. And, you know, the loser gets some kind of punishment. I think that would be an absolute blast to try to make each other tap out on, on dumb shit, you know? So, yeah. Someday, man. That's the dream. If I won the lottery, what would you go do? I would go do impractical jokes. <laughs> I would grab a couple people and we would go probably get ourselves beat up. Yeah, because we would prank too hard, so be a good time. That's it, man. That's Easy. all the questions we had for episode one hundred and sixty. If you guys want to uh, catch more of me, 
Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't stream, so <laughs> yeah. neither do I, apparently. So. No, so yeah, we've, um, you know, my we've, IRL. We've fallen has, on hard Twitch times. <laughs> yeah, my I IRL has been kicking my butt, man. I, I, I miss it, and I do want to do it again soon. So I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks I can figure out some kind of scheduling thing. But um, it's like like tonight after the podcast, I'm I'm just gonna go to bed because I'm exhausted. So it sucks. But yeah, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, all the places at the PJL. Yeah, and Lord underscore Fluffy double those underscores on the Twitter. We'll see you boys next Wednesday. Correct? Uh, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday for one six one. Peace out, dudes. Peace.